Hello everybody, welcome back to another little proof of concept video. Um, if you haven't watched my first one, uh, go check it out for the MI Cyclone drilling platform. Uh, it's one of the first drilling rigs that I built. Um, we are here at the oil deposit just south of the, well, I guess kind of west of the uh, FJ Warner docks on the um, Industrial Frontier DLC portion of the map. Um, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with this, like I said, check that video out. But I just kind of wanted to go over the next proof of concept from after the drilling sequence has taken place. Um, so yeah, what, we're, what you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you save consistently when you're doing this. But uh, what you want to do is once you drill and strike oil, um, I will go more in depth on how to know when you strike oil in another video when I go through a full more like detailed version of, or more detailed um, video, excuse me, of the um, Cyclone drill rig because I added another system to it to kind of make it just a little more efficient. But uh, you're going to want to make sure you leave the pipe. Um, after you strike oil, um, keep that drill swivel drilling till you can get that pipe is just sticking out above your turntable on your drill deck. Um, that way you'll be able to hook it to a pump jack. And I'll explain a little bit more of that um, here shortly as to why you want to do that. But you want to make sure that you have, so if you drill 60 feet, you can come up here to your wellhead and hit your page up button and it's going to tell you the drill depth and the well depth. So as you can see this well depth was well, about 63 meters. Um, my drill depth I went just a little bit deeper than that just barely. Um, but yeah you can use get that information by holding page up on the uh, while you're looking at your wellhead. We'll tell you what your depth is. Um, so if you're 63 meters down, that means you're going to be roughly six drill rods thereabouts because each drill rod is a total length of 10 meters, which in Stormworks is four blocks long. Um, so the reason I say that, because I did this a lot in training, I had to restart like new save games multiple times because I'd be working on this drill head and I would push like the wrong button and let go of my rod and drop it down the well. And I don't believe there's a what what is what's going on? What what's going on? What you doing? Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I've never had one do that, but usually you drop it down the well head and uh you can't get it back, as far as I know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this pump jack. The, I used a... I can show you which one it is. So, it's a concept of... Let me just find it on the workshop for you really quick. So this oil pump jack by CD and Nikolai. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do this with my actual, um, oh, what do you call it? My actual drill deck, like drilling platform, like being able to hook to this pump jack and operate it. But then I was wondering, like, how exactly to make like a real a more realistic looking pump jack and that one from cd kind of gave me an idea of how to run like the pivots and stuff um and basically all you're using is are these velocity pivots these two velocity pivots here are actually what are is driving the motion of this arm up and down and then you just have hinges you have a hinge here a hinge here you have 
two pivots on either side of this, but they're not powered. You're just using that as a pivot. It's not powered. There's no mechanical force being applied there. And yeah, it pumps. Uh, when this rises, it pushes the pump jack down, down into the um, swivel. Once you connect your pipe from your turntable here, and then as this mechanical leverage goes down, it pulls the pump jack pump up, which forces the oil to flow up through the pump jack and down the pipe. Um, and it just goes over and over until you tell it to stop, basically. But I wanted to be able to add kind of an automation system. So what I did is I built this controller that goes off of the level of fluid in the tanks. As you see, I have four tanks in total. Um, I believe they're 51,734. Yeah. Um, total per tank. So that's the max value or level of liters that those tanks can hold. So about 200, a little over 200 liters of oil this uh, little pumping station can hold. Um, and I wanted to automate it so like if you drilled your well, got your pipe stem ready, you could pop this on there, hook it up, start pumping oil, and you could go to like another oil deposit and start drilling another wellhead. And then in theory, I haven't sat here long enough to see um, if it will shut itself off, but I'm pretty sure with the microcontroller that I built with using thresholds for level limits that it will once the fourth tank gets full it will shut the pump off and then all you would have to do is come over to this offloading station and you know pump it into a tanker truck or however you want to transport it um, so without further ado i will spawn it in and i will kind of show you how to operate it um, so this is already um, kind of this little tutorial is just Assuming you already know how to drill, like I said, if you don't, check out my other video. kind of gives you a basic idea of how to do it. Um, so, like I said, make sure your drill stem is in there because you're going to need that. And once you get up here on the um, platform, you'll be able to see, but... You can physically grab these and pick them up and drop them. Um, but just remember, if you pick this up and clamp it into something and then despawn whatever is on this platform, it's going to take that rod with it. and It's going to disappear. So if you were to accidentally do that in our, on an already drilled well, you're going to have to set your rig back up and run pipe down there to uh, tap the well again, basically. So what you're going to do here is you're just going to run over the little service door. This is where all your controls are at. You got your master switch. See, it automatically turns the pump on. It's not the greatest, but it does pump fairly quick. So you can see it's. Oh, I know why. I'm, just, I'm an idiot. <laughs> got to hook your well rod up. So yeah, you can see that can pump all day long. But as long as you don't have this hooked up, you're not going to transfer any oil. So what I like to do is turn my swivel clamp on. So this button is just activating the clamp to the swivel. I'm just going to pick it up. Once you hear it click, you're going to let go of it. Then you can uh, initiate your pump sequence. As you can see, tank one is pumping. So yeah, in theory, uh, with the microcontroller on here, you should just be able to Go about your day, and it's going to pump 51,000 liters of oil down the line. There is valves set up on the inputs. So like I said, first one's going to come in. It's going to fill this up. Once that's full, it's going to shut that valve and open too, so on and so forth. And then once you are full, um, you'll be able to use this pumping station to offload 
whichever tank you desire into a tank. Um, I thought about maybe adding the refinery portion to this too, where you could actually physically refine the oil through um, the different systems to make jet fuel or diesel, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I just kind of wanted to add to my drilling video by showing you how to actually physically extract the oil. So yeah, this is it. I will be uh, uploading this to the Steam Workshop if you're interested in taking a look at it. Feel free to grab it. But yeah, uh, any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next one.